uh, what we need today more than anything else is to invest in beauty. Because beauty is harmony which comes from chaos. But we invest in chaos. And why we invest in chaos? Because chaos is more, much more profitable than peace. That's why. So, um, you see around you, nothing is geared for beauty, from architecture to art to anything. Everything is destroyed. Yeah. So, and beauty is, is, is a kind of uh, st safety valve for people. And, uh, and music as well. Music, I, I don't think music is beautiful today. Music is just, just uh, a, a, a way to, to advertise other things because music is very powerful as, 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 a, as, a, very, as force. And then through music we can advertise anything we want. You know, I, I wonder, you, you've lived through the 60s. I've lived through the 60s and, you know, we saw that period and all of the upheaval that came out of that, that period. Uh, and there was a lot of music that came out of that period. Some of it was, was, you would probably say, was pretty good. Others of it was probably not so good. Do you think that there is a, an opportunity in this period that we're living in now for some pretty exceptional music? I don't know. It's been, as you say, it's been a lot of music. Uh, I can say innocent music and maybe manufactured music. And then we went through the manufacturing music for years and years and years and years. And then record companies, they became very, 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 uh, you know, hungry and, you know, when music becomes a product mm. and the record company becomes an uh, industry, then what do you want to say? You know, everything is, something is wrong about that. And yet you were really a part of that system, weren't you? 50, 51, 52 yes, recordings? Uh, yes and no, because when I started with this, I had the impression that by being successful, which I fortunately have been, yeah. uh, you know, I will be able to do things that actually are different. But more successful you become, more, uh, you know, more prisoner you become to the system, because they don't, they don't allow you to do things. Success didn't buy you in your career more freedom? No, at the contrary. Explain that. I, I would think if you're successful, hmm? you get an opportunity to say, no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to go on the road and, and do 100 cities in 100 days, right? You, you become a product, okay? And the record company invests in that. Now, if you are Coca-Cola and you want to change the taste, what's going to happen? Okay. You have to keep it until you die. That's why people that actually they, they are a certain age today, they're still doing the same and they look ridiculous. Yeah. Because they don't dare changing something. I didn't, cha I didn't start in this, this business because I wanted to become a pop star or a star or whatever. I, I was trying you know, to, to do something and I had to fight from inside, not from outside. Yeah. But it's very, very difficult extremely difficult and because for my interest is music is not to become famous and to give concerts as you say but the reality <laughs> is yeah you became a star how did it change your life how did it as you're telling me now limit your choices it does limit the choices yes choices of expression yes choices to buy for example a nice car and a nice house no but this is not the goal, this is not the, the, the target. The target is, uh, is, when I was really very, very young, I thought that by, by being successful, I will, I will be able to do more. But no, you can't. I'm in charge of Irish 30, how many years, 35 years ago, and it's just like, like, like a stump. You can't get out of it. Let's uh, put it in another way. Yeah. <coughs> you have the music and you have the composer. Who drives who? If, for example, the music drives the composer, the result will be honest and healthy. If the composer drives the music, the result will be dishonest and record business. Mm -hmm. It's easy. I mean, music is the most important thing. I'm serving music. 
uh, I, I love the stories, and I wonder if some of this has, Which one? has become a bit of an urban legend with you. Which one? But I love the stories of, of, <laughs> of your youth and you coming to music. And, and what was it? Was it just sounds that, that piqued your interest? Did you, were you shown the piano? Did you find the piano? Mm. How did that happen? Did, did music find you? Did you find music? I don't remember. I just found myself sitting on the piano. And that's it. And it just happened? It just happened. It just happened and I, 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 I don't know, I still know, I still now, until now I don't know how to explain that. Because this is crazy. There are a number of people, okay, who have gone on and had remarkable careers who don't have formal training. Yeah. And, and you're one of those people uh, who has made amazing music throughout a career and can't point to formal training at all. So, how do you explain your creative process, this idea of being a vessel for music? Okay, because we call formal training when it comes to music schools. My formal training was nature. My teacher is nature itself. My teacher is music itself. What does that mean, Van Gels? I'm talking to you, you are music. I am music, everybody is music. It's mathematical equation. It's it's yeah. it's the way the way that you you perceive things that you see things. Doesn't mean that you go into school and you become a musician. Mm. Most of the schools they teach a repertoire, but not music. Yeah, music is a different thing. It's not what we think today. It's one of the of the most important things that that, that do distort it, like many other th important things. You see, we think we talk about peace is distorted. We talk about love is distorted. We talk about music is distorted. You know, we have actually we have to, to just a little bit uh, think. Yeah. Maybe at night when we are alone, what 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 is this? What what that means? The other one doesn't. What it means? What what is music? What is what is you say love? What is all those kind of things? Not not the cliche things. So you we'll go think with cliche about these things. Yes, because they are more, the most important. Have you come to any conclusions about music, uh, uh, about love? Yes, of uh, course. About but I told you. I mean, <laughs> you asked me what is the formal training. I told you it's nature. So, in order to say that, the conclusion is that nat nature, music is exactly the same thing. The, you know, the the the, the 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 universe is music. I mean, each one of us is a galaxy. You are a galaxy, I'm another galaxy, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it, and if you go to, to, to microcosm and you go to, to, with a telescope, it's exactly the same thing. Exactly the same thing. So, so music is not, you know, to, to, to pick up a guitar and go and make, as we say, gigs, right? And to be successful. And also another thing that drives me crazy is the obligation to be successful. Why have to be obliged to be successful? Why have to be obliged because to... Because you have to feed a system. Ah, now you're talking. Why so you are... If you know those kind of things... You're bringing me around why, to your why, point of view. Why you, <laughs> why you make me say that? Uh, yes. You know. <laughs> this, this amazing night, the opening of the amphitheater, um, the Katara Amphitheater here in Doha. First of all, the invitation and why you agreed to come. So I decided that because, you know, uh, it's very rare to see a country that appears to be interested for uh, education, art, science, you know, whatever, you know, uh, culture and all that. And then for me, this is, this is the key for against the crisis today. Because we're talking about crisis, 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 crisis all the time, which is a, si a result. And uh, the banking crisis is not so important as the, the culture crisis. So when you deal with culture, and you deal with all these other things, then I think you can manage the rest easier. So, you know, I would like... I wanted to support this and also, I mean, I, I, I was very, very uh, impressed that they built this theater, this Greek-style theater, uh, which to me, it's maybe, I mean, I prefer it from these rectangular theaters. And uh, I think it's more more alive. It's, it's, it's like a loudspeaker, actually. 
and uh, to be able to, to see a theater today like that new one it's uh, it gives hope because I mean in my country we have many many theaters like that but that this comes from from ancient times but even in my country we don't build theaters like this because now the fashion is to build all those uh, you know amazing I mean uh, Places that you don't feel special when you get in. You, you don't feel that you're going to see something special. That's worth the, 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 the trouble to go there. My understanding is once you came on board, uh, some of your friends and colleagues came on board as well. We had a very good team. You know, Angela, Roberto, uh, Jeremy, Ivan Casar. You know, every. I mean, it was very good. You were working with Hugh Hudson again. Oh yes, that was a great pleasure because we uh, we work after, you know, since Serge Jafar we never worked together, and he's responsible about the you know the whole filming, and the making of and all that, and we've been together. And it was really great pleasure. What uh, what what motivates you these days? Clearly, uh, the project in Qatar was something that motivated you. You created original music for the performance. What, what is it that, that motivates you these days uh, to create music? What happens? What's that creative spark these days? This day, every day I create music. I didn't create music only for Qatar, you know, this, mm. this, this period. But uh, the reason that I did that for Qatar is because of this approach. Because for the first time I see a country that that shows interest to something which the I think the uh, the people needs more than anything else today, because all the rest and you know, all this misery comes because we don't have uh, what I call before beauty, what, what, what uh, uh, you know the um, quality of life, and quality of life is not money. Quality of life is something else, like for example. Civilization is not technology. I'm not against technology, of course. But can you imagine uh, high technology without, uh, without civilized people? How dangerous can be? Mm. So, I think the moment that, that Qatar is trying to do something like that, I have to, you know, to, to support this. Because uh, this is, is, a part, is, is a part of my, my beliefs. And uh, that's why, you know, what I can say, although maybe it will never happen, I don't know, I hope that it's going to happen, but in order to happen, we have to help, yeah. each one of us. Do you, have a, do you have a need at this point to uh, produce more records? Do you have a need? No. I compose music every you, day. Yeah. Do you, do you have a need to, I don't know, either through the internet or whatever else, to, to get that out to people, to have them hear it, to have them, you know, maybe share what it is you're feeling, thinking, and influence yeah, this kind of, 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 of the kind of world that you'd like to see? Sharing is very important, but as I said, I don't want to impose. So the moment if you go through the, the system, then you have to impose things. It's a very, very dangerous game. It's against my, my principles, being in a, in a kind of uh, situation which in one hand uh, they do exactly the, the, you know, the contrary of what you believe, right. and the other hand you try to keep the balance. It's a very difficult thing. Right. Speaking of sharing, mm -hmm. you know what, I've, I've spent some time with you now. You have a wonderful life. You have... How do you know? <laughs> well, because, can I tell you something? Just, I will tell you, just from the people that I've met around ah, you. Yeah. Uh, they would lead me, by extension, to believe that you've got this wonderful life. I, I wonder why you don't share more of that. I mean, you don't you don't play the Facebook, the Twitter. You 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 really don't share much of what I think is is a, a pretty wonderful life of friends, of love, achievements. Because I think I don't want to 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 flood people with myself. There are enough problems, enough things, and they have maybe other people they love doing this, I just prefer to stay, you know, low-key and do my work and, and compose. And whoever wants to listen to the music, it's okay. And if, ever, if I can help in any way, like I tried in my own way to do it now, after this 
uh, you know, proposition from these wonderful people from Qatar, you know, what else I can do? Yeah. And I paint, you know, uh, and I feel very happy like that, and I, keep, I try to keep the balance like that. If I asked you uh, to share with me sort of the, the, the best moments of your composing career, yeah. what would you point to? And, and I'm thinking, I would think the films. Maybe you wouldn't. I would think maybe Blade Runner, um, maybe Alexander. But what would you point to as being moments when you feel as though, wow, no, you, you now that right? you're talking about film music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right? I'm thinking film music. Well, Blade Runner was very important because, again, it was very prophetic. And if I did it, it's because I felt it. I felt that, uh, that uh, we're going that way. And look around you, even in, in, in Doha. The building is <laughs> uh, When are you your happiest? What are you doing? Where are you in the world? Well, I use this uh, Oscar Wilde uh, quote to say it's not such a thing as happiness, it's only moments of happiness. And those moments of happiness, they can happen everywhere. Everywhere. Any moment. For some, always is the reason. Sometimes you know the reason, sometimes you don't know the reason. When I'm with music, I'm very, very happy. When I'm with people that I love, I'm happy. What else? When I'm healthy, I'm, I'm happy. When I see people smiling, I'm happy. But it depends, you know. But I'm not unhappy. <laughs> Legacy. There's more work to come, I know. But what do you think about what would you like for people to remember about your body of work? The takeaway from your body of work? I think I leave that to the people, what they prefer. But it's another thing that comes out of this question is that the work that they know is a very small uh, percentage of what I compose because people, they know things from the record companies from the start and they know from from the film music, but it's a lot of music which is uh, symphonic music, it's different music, which actually they don't know because they've never been released. So I don't actually, I, 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 I don't like to say to people what to, to prefer, but whatever they prefer, they will keep. Maybe they won't keep anything. Who knows? I don't know. Oh, they'll keep plenty. Oh, they'll keep Vangelis. No, uh, you know. Vangelis, they'll keep plenty. How do you know? They will. As long, I mean, my wish is to, the music itself to, to become really, maybe to be treated with more respect. That's all I, I would like from people. For myself, I don't ask anything. Thank you for your time. It's been a pleasure.